Hi everybody, my name is Yonit Spiegelman. I'm a bass player working in New York City and in LessonFace.com I actually teach and now I'm here to show you some tricks uh, that will help you to work on your time and your feel. You can just play any song that you learn, or any bass, any bass uh, line that you learn with the metronome. But another thing to do is kind of see how we can part for the metronome. So what I'm going to do is I wrote two simple bass lines. You can go to the link right here, get, go to the Lesson Face website and you can see the music sheet and work with me. Now the bass line I'm going to work on is at 100 BPM. But what I want to show you is how I can reduce it to 50 and only use the metronome as the 2 and the 4 to play that bass line. So we're going to start with exercise A. Now this is something very important. When we work with the metronome, of course we work with the beats, we work with the quarter notes, but you really want to make sure and see what your bass line is based on. For example, most bass lines usually don't just stick to the quarter note. A lot of them, especially in rock music, will be based on eighth notes. So we're going to do something that's a little bit more towards the rock music with a little bit of, of flavor of Motown because this is what I usually play. So we're going to go through exercise 1A. So what you want to do right now is count before you start playing and make sure that you catch those 2 and 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. video for a second and try it yourself, you will see that it might not be that easy in the beginning. It's not that easy to catch those beats and it's not easy to really make sure that you're stable on the rhythm. Don't quit if you see that you don't get it after two bars. Just keep on trying to catch that beat because it's something that will really help you when you'll be in a live session and you'll need to really get back to your, um, to your rhythm. So, as you could see, I was catching those two and four while I had the metronome on. And then when I caught those two and four, I was just thinking in the sense of eighth notes, which means one and two, three and four. One, two, three, four. So if you struggle to get the space line straight up on the two and four, make sure that you subdivide the eighth notes. Um, now the second exercise that I want to work on, we're going to do the same thing with the metronome. We're going to keep on counting only the, only the two and four, but we're going to have a different subdivision. Uh, you might have guessed already, if you play in a subdivision of 16th note, you might have a little bit more of either a funky bass line or a funky, again, Motown-y bass line. So here's the second exercise that I wrote. It's going to be in a subdivision of 16th, and we're going to count again, make sure we have those two and fours, subdivide, and then start playing the bass line. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and a two and a three and a four. And a one and a two and a three and a four. And a one, two, three, one, two, three. Now, you can also see that I was kind of dancing with it. That's because I don't really want to count all those 16th notes. I really want to make sure that I feel them. Pay attention that I'm always not playing on those two and four. I really make sure to put that space right there and not to play on top of it. I really pay respects to the rest that I have in the bass line because for 80% of the song in the world, you would really want to hear that bass, that, that backbeat um, on the snare. So when we play with the drummer, we really want to make sure that we're playing together and we're not playing one on top of the other. 
for the brave ones who are still watching this video and didn't throw their base in anxiety, you can actually take it one step further. So we have the two and the four. If you want to really challenge yourself, what you can do is play only with the two. So what we did is that we had the BPM for 100. So if you want to play only with the two and four, we can cut the metronome for 50 BPM. And that's what we did before, right? What we're going to do now is actually go lower to 25. And then that click is only going to be the two. Now, the first thing that you have to do before you start playing is that you have to make sure that you count it. And when you count it, you keep falling on that two. Make sure that you use that subdivision of the eighth notes and the subdivision of the sixteenth to actually make sure that you can get yourself to the two on time and not before and not after. So, we're going to start demonstrating it first with exercise A, which has the subdivision of eighth notes. Now, you can notice that it's much easier to get out of that rhythm when you play only with the two because we have so much space in between to get ourselves a little bit faster, a little bit slower, that it's something that you really want to practice as sort of a meditation with a simple bass line. Once you exercise it enough time with a simple bass line, you can take maybe a song that you were practicing for in your lesson um, and try to work out that as well. Make sure that you start with a simple bass line. Now we're going to do the same thing with our exercise B, which is a subdivision of 16th notes. Make sure you find that too. just as hard playing it with the 16th notes but if you try to make sure to subdivide you will be good because what you need is play every single part of that bass line on time and accurate and that will lead you for the two try to not get frustrated if it takes you a little bit of time I promise that it's worth it and it makes your life so much easier uh, when you play in a studio and drummers will definitely like you like you a lot better so Make sure you practice those bass lines with the metronome. Make sure you practice that time. If you want to learn a little bit more about how to practice your time, how to practice your bass lines, how to make sure that everything sounds super good, you can go to LessonFace.com, take a lesson with me or any other of the awesome bass players they have over there, and have a little bit of fun with your bass lines.